So now let us look on to what problems leading on to decrease and the increase of percentage. Um, this first question says, after a price increase of 10%, a television set cost $286. What was the price before increase? Since we don't know the price before increase, we can let it to be X. Let that number be X. So X is the initial price before it was increased by 10% to result to $286. So if this is the initial price, initial price, it was increased by 10%. And remember this amount is 100%. So we have 100% plus 10% of this number X, which is the initial price, and this result to 286. 100 plus 10 is 110. Out of 100 times X, this is equal to 286. To get rid of this fraction, we can multiply both sides by 100. So from the left-hand side, we only have 110x, 110x. To the right, we have, because we are multiplying both sides by 100, uh, if you multiply here by 100, it will cancel this. And to the right, we have 28,600. To find the actual value of x, we divide both sides by 110. We divide by 110. This will cancel this. And finally, x is equal to 28,600 divided by 110. And we have $260. So this was the initial amount before it was increased by 10% to result to $286. Let us look on to another question. Um, this question says, the charge for a telephone call costing 12 Naira per minute is increased by 10%. What is the new cost? Initially, this is what is charged per minute, 12 Naira and later on increase by 10%. We want to find the new cost. So we have 110 collectively out of 100 times 12. This will cancel this. All we have is 11 times 12 divided by 10. 11 times 12 is 132. Uh, divide by 10 will give us uh, 13 Naira to Kobo. So this is the new amount per minute. Now let us look on to the last question. The last question says a car sold for $2,280 at a loss of 5% on the cost price. We are asked to find the cost price. Since there is a loss, it means that the cost price is higher than the selling price. And 5% of the initial price, which is the cost price, was removed from that cost price to rise to this current amount, which is the selling price. So we don't know the cost price. We can let it to be, to be equal to x. Uh, uh, this is the original price, which is x. Subtract 5% of that amount to get rise to 2,280. This can be seen as 100%. Yes, this is 100%. So, so this is 100, x over 100 minus per percent of x is the same thing as uh, 5 out of 100 of x. 
and this is equal to 2,280. Uh, the denominators are the same, so this minus this is equal to 95. We have 95 x over 100. Remember, this is percentage decrease. Um, 100 minus 5 is the same thing as 95. This is just another approach. Uh, this is equal to 2. We can uh, multiply both sides by 100 so that we have 95 x here equals we add two zeros here, we have two, two, eight, zero. Then this other zeros. To find the value of x, which is the cost price, we divide both sides by 95. Therefore, x equals two, two, eight, zero, 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 divided by 95. 228,000 divided by 95 we have $2,400. So this was the cost price, $2,400, but later on sold at a lower price, which is $2,280, so there is a loss. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.